growing. Okay, so here is God's war. We're gonna look inside the box. I've already taken off the shrink wrap. We're gonna see what we got. And uh, look, by Sandy Peterson. Some old guy. That knob, okay. <coughs> well, we have a map. <coughs> and <coughs> it is a nice big map. The map is square because the world is square <laughs> in this universe. <laughs> And so it is square. And that means that on the table this size, you're gonna have your, you're gonna be sitting a little over here, and you're gonna have your, your fa uh, look, here they are, faction sheets, here. Here, your, your chaos, All right. turns out. Your darkness. Nice. Here, show, show the sky. And here's the back. Here's the victory track, and then we, can sit, we sit right here, and we have all our sweeter. stuff right here with an, ac with an access to it. So we can, I can easily reach over to Luithella and conquer it. No matter what you say. Well, why would you want to? Because that's the land of dusk, where everyone has to, where the sun, that's the land of dawn, the sun comes up, wait. Luithella, dusk, land, sun goes down in the west, right? So it does go down. That's my understanding. So let's see what else we got in here. We got, the, we got, we got one more victory track, because there's four in this box. We have a mighty rule book, and it's a mighty rule book of 120 something pages and that's because it's the it's the Omega Master rulebook and it has the rules for everything So that if you and it has hints like how to play storm. That's actually a lot of the book is, is the hints um, Like almost half so you don't actually have to read and then the third part of the book has all the components So really it's like 30 or 40 pages of rules not so bad and then we have aha the floating island Kylarella This is fabulous. I I'm, broke it I did break it. You have an you have an, an air, land on the map that wanders around <laughs> because it's a fantasy world, and that's how it works. You have, ooh, we have. Oh, don't break hell. Hell. And this is if you have six to eight players, and that's if you have three to five players. And we have the heavens. Same deal. Three to five players. Two areas. Oh yeah, hint, hint cards, tons of punch boards, but beyond the punch boards, look at the figures. Look at this, look at this honey, wah ha. Who is Chaos? Me. Look, get some jollies, just looking at this bit. That's Thed, and look, here's the wonderful, the Mad God. The Mad God, and here is, are you Darkness? Is your hot mama? Oh my God. Actually, your cold mama, I guess That's it is. Amazing. And here are a bunch of cards Oh, these are the runes. Like a rune cards. Uh, here are a bunch of dice. Now, I am told by Arthur. Who, who doesn't want to worship KS after yeah. looking at this so, guy? So, so, hey, get the camera over here. I'm, I'm oh, looking at these things and you're not, you're not, you're missing it. Look, here are the awesome, yeah, uh, well, I didn't see these, the runes. Oh, the runes. The, the runes. runes cards. Those are the runes, a bunch of cards. And then, here's the dice. Now, I will say that, uh, in my version here, because it came so early, the dice were made in a different factory, the actual <laughs> cool dice, not the, well, you know, the battle dice. And so I didn't have time to get those to me if I was going to get this, so I don't have them. But in your set, you will have them or I will be mad because they said they would have them in everyone else's set. So there's that. Um, more critters. It's Orlan, the Storm King. Fabian, is that you? No. Oh, it's Orlan, okay. It's Orlan. Um, <clears throat> And uh, so I have no idea how I'm gonna get these things back in. You make Lincoln do it. That's the right way to, uh, to do it. Oh yeah. All right, we're now accepting right. offers for Battle Phone. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 so, go throw these things away. I don't save those things. All right. Okay. There's, now, there's the cool box. That's the cool box. Let's look at a somewhat less cool box. Which, so this is the box of the of the buildings. And it has all the buildings for all uh, eight you, civilizations. You put them all over the heavens. Yep. Oh, wait, no, the, oh, that's all in hell. Okay. It doesn't matter. Okay. And so here's and the, and so here is the Ziggurat of Darkness, and here is the Castle of Lead of Darkness. That Hold is. On, we'll look at that. That is that is the the tower that the wizards build when you're playing the the. Uh, Why does the, the tower have a tuning fork at the top? Um, because if it had a single point, then you would stab on it, step on it, and it would stab through your foot. And so I made them do that so that you would not kill yourself by falling onto your own pieces. And here's that is actually a safety blood. feature. <laughs> this one you're on your own. This one is going to kill you. 
But it's the darkest one, so it makes sense. See, this is safe, though. You can step on that. I like the wizard's towers. And this one is, hurts about like a Lego, you know, so it's not cripplingly dam damaging, but it's not fun. And, uh, and look at that. Here's water, and here's Invisible God, and you can totally tell them apart, even if you're colorblind. Which I am, profoundly. Can you tell these apart? I can. It's a miracle. Okay. This is brown. Oh, wait. No. I can tell those are different. Okay. Two awesome. different shades of brown. Okay. Right. What next? Do I do other races? No, I want to do the the the, uh, the, the Empire's box. Okay. That's actually the cool one that everyone wants to see. That's here. You heard it here first. That's the cool. No, you, we, 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 you, you. No, you said so yesterday when we were doing the first part of the unwrapping. Oh, yeah, I did. You said this is the. You awesome heard box. it here oh. second. Let's see what we got in this box. So it. What do we have in this box is four more empires. So you can have a total of eight empires, and you can totally play it with all eight. And because well, this game requires a bigger map, when you put an eight, here it is. Look, the super map. Okay, it's the same size, but it is, but it has more areas. You can see this is the eight-player side. I guess we're and supposed to. And then on to... the other side is the six-player side. Yeah, flip yeah. that around, right? Yeah. And then you also you flip over the the uh, the the heavens and the and the hell maps. You you just have to remember to flip over because it says on them, they're in the main game. Here's the counters, invisible god counters. Uh, looks like a mix of moon and earth. Looks like a mix of sea and moon. And here's more tiles for people to break out. Here's the marriage button for the for the uh, uh, earth queen. She is totally reinforces gender stereotypes and wants everyone to get married to her people. Um, <clears throat> the moon. <coughs> uh, let's look at the back of this one. Well, they're just pictures of the gods. Moon goddess. That is not invisible god. a happy boat. Well, you know, it's, it's hard to be in a mythic universe. And the earth titan. And then there's a bunch of more moon... So, because she actually... Well, I say she, she doesn't enforce traditional marriage roles <laughs> because she wants to have all of her queens marry everyone. So there's a lot of polyamory going on. But, uh, and then, and I guess actually she may be, uh, not do all the gender roles because you can totally marry one of her queens off to the, to the other goddesses. So I suppose, how do I get this out? This is very secure. Well, it's a vacuum. Well, I think you only have to do this once because then you're going to throw away the cardboard box. So it is, it's a vacuum and there's a cardboard thing that barely fits. Ah. So... Just for stability. And this is actually a collectible board game. That every, there's booster Aha! packs. And there's right. all the pieces. Earth Queens. See, this is the Earth Queen of Sky. So you'd marry her to the to the uh, Sky player if he was in the game. Here's the Earth Queen of the Invisible God. You'd marry that to the Invisible God. Amazing. And here's the here's the Kraken. And here are the banana-sized Earth Titans. Woo! They're so big. They're the biggest figures I've ever made and probably ever going to make. Really? But uh, they're pretty big. <laughs> Do they require assembly after molding? Let me just say that those figures are absolutely a 28 millimeter scale for Warhammer. Wow. So for example, here is a mighty wizard in 28 millimeter scale. And now he can go up against the Earth Titan. And, not and you can see that probably he will not succeed, no. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't think good. Adama Kavadra is going to cut it's it with fantastic. that guy. Um, <laughs> I don't think so. Avada cut up. Earthquake. <laughs> there we go. That's the under that. Resolution's pretty amazing on this. Here is the moon goddess. Dagon, is that you? Oh, wrong game. Nope. Here is here's the the earth god. Is this one? There we uh, go. The sea god is that one. Some piece again. Oh, and here's the wedding rings for for Earth, because like you know she wants to have a ceremony. None of this, none of this go into no, the court, courthouse to get married. That's not going to cut it for the for the, the goddess. And there's also the uh, power markers in there as well. Oh, yeah, there's all kinds of things in there. Okay. <clears throat> Name as lousy with Next things. Box. Okay. Uh, put those three things in here. Stuff, put that on the floor. We'll, we'll just set this down. 
Okay, elder races. Yeah, that's These are like the neutrals. And so here's the spell books that some of them get. I don't think we call them spell books though, we call them gifts. Here's their loyalty cards. Yes, who doesn't want the Videli gift? Everyone wants it, it's great. Uh -huh. There's the dragon um, evolution marker right there. Dragon evolution marker. Awesome. And here's the critters. There is the giant. And if you look on his right knee, he has a 28 millimeter scale person or part of a person strapped to it as his armor, because why wouldn't you? And then the other ones are just whatever. Well, the answer have. is you would. And uh, like here's a boggle and two more boggles and there's drag oh dragon God. ships in there and the dragon newts over here three ducks this, I love this torso it's been scrapped to sentient ducks not just yeah quack quack ducks everyone's favorite figure the maidstone archer three arms no head no waiting just how you want your woman right well i'm no not head. saying that i'm sure there is someone that to which she would appeal immensely um, yes, a chaos monster, probably. She's not chaotic. She fights chaos. I know, but <clears throat> they want a little it. man strapped to his knee like a knee pad. That's genius. Isn't that great? That yeah, I great. that was my idea. Um, <clears throat> so, next we're going to open some monsters. And we're going to open the dragons first. Because they're the ones you get at the start of the game if you get monsters. Early in the game, at the game start, you get a dragon. While you could do more than one, Peterson Game recommends you only pick one. So, if you pick the Darkness Dragon, you get this one. If you pick the Red Dragon, not Darkness, the Black Dragon. The Black Dragon, the Red Dragon, and the Bronze Dragon. Or the Brown Dragon, I guess. They aren't metals. But they all have different numbers of legs. So the Black Dragon has, has traditional four legs and two wings, like a... Like a D and D dragon, this guy has six legs and two wings, and the wings are like paddle-like. And then the uh, the moon dragon has just two legs and two wings, so it has the fewest limbs. Because I wanted the dragons to all look like they had gone down different evolutionary paths. And also, the black dragon is all creepy and undeadish. Yeah, I love it because he's like, and the moon dragon is like, looks like it's a caterpillar. And... Okay, <laughs> next is the chaos monsters because you get them when the chaos rift opens. Hmm. Oh, the Chaos Rift is one of the, you know, I didn't pop it out, but Chaos Monsters, and there's three of them. There is the Sky Terror, who is totally not a dragon and doesn't really look that much like it. There is the Mother O Monsters, who is the mother, of, and here's her babies, the little tiny cute babies, the dragon snails. Uh, originally, we were going to do counters for these, but one of the upgrades was to make them be plastic. So look, plastic. Although we have the counters too, for some reason, so go figure. Maybe the count, maybe the plastic ones are only for the uh, the Kickstarter. I don't know, but anyway, here's the counters. Going to use those, and here these are all purple because all the chaos the monsters they're kind of the color of the purple player, even though they aren't loyal to him and don't work for him. Oh, by the way, here's the purple. So this is the chaos nest. When it starts out, it goes like this. Then when you embed it with the magic power, it flips over and it's like all gross and spiky. And this is this is the uh, one of the chaos, my favorite chaos monster. Jeff Richards' favorite monster, right? Everyone loves it. I'll, I'll say that for him. It was my idea to have one of them be a girl. It just made sense. Could have been two, but I, I, didn't, I didn't want it to all be the same gender. Because, you know, chaos. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see. Let me see. You know, if you look at it, you're, you're going to be happy. Because it, just, it, it, keeps, it keeps looking worse the more you look at it. Okay. okay, and finally, the Cosmic Monsters, and these are their own kind of color. It sort of overlaps with the, these are all made to be silvery or metallic, so they don't really look like the, the factions. You can tell them apart. So these, so we have the Leviathan, a giant, these don't appear until the Cosmic, the Great Compromise happens. And he's the, he's the biggest. Give me a kiss. Yeah, he's awesome. And then here's the Juggernaut, which is technically the largest of these, but the figure is not the biggest because this figure is so big that we couldn't do it. It's crushing. It has a city inside of it. So what are you gonna do? This one is so it's that is technically out of scale. That's not 28 millimeter because it's supposed to be like eight miles across. Um, this is correct. This is Androgius, the uh, an entity who the proper gender pronouns for is he and she alternating. That's how you do it with Androgius. And uh, 
she spawns monsters wherever she goes and is, is troublesome. All the Kha'Zix monsters, the Kha'Zix monsters tend to um, uh, mess up the game for everyone. All the monsters are everyone's enemy and they mess up the game for everyone, but they mess it up in different ways. Like the Chaos monsters imbalance the game and the dragons are a balancing element. The Kha'Zix monsters are kind of like neutral. They aren't, they just happen when someone does something. So they just, everyone, if, if it's picking on you, it's because you were, it would, life is pain. <laughs> but if you own this Kickstarter, your life has just become less painful because you have all these awesome things. And I'm really excited. We're going to play it tonight. The wait's uh, over. But I'm not going to film it. The wait's over, right? Say the wait's over. The wait, well, it's over It's over for me. You guys still have to wait uh, a few weeks for it to get from China on a, on a banana boat. But, uh, but I, by paying hundreds of dollars, I was able to get mine earlier, yes. <laughs> um, we'll put that on the next kicker charge. Yeah. You pay us $200, you can get yours two weeks We early. probably could do that, um, but I don't think I want to. Okay. All right.